my name is Michel de Vries. Um, I'm Dutch, therefore the name. Um, I developed some pains back in 2018. Uh, they were mainly abdominal uh, pains. And as a result, obviously, I uh, went to the GP to get figured out what the pains could be caused by. Um, since then, I've gone through a very long roller coaster ride of different uh, diagnostics. So it started with an ultrasound uh, that didn't um, expose any kidney stones or liver stones or anything similar. Um, from there, I was referred to a gastroenterologist. Um, there were some kind of lumps in my stomach as well. So in order to make sure that it wasn't a cancerous um, uh, problem, I got a CT scan. Um, CT scan was negative, fortunately. I kept on banging on to the, um, to the, to the GP because my complaints were getting worse, more frequent, more intense. Um, eventually, a neurologist, um, I've spoken to him. He said, well, let's do a, an MRI scan. After the, um, the MRI actually showed that I had a tumor in my spine. It was quite some, it's kind of bombshell type of news, but almost like a paradox. I was relieved that they finally found something. I had what is called a meningioma in my spine. Meningioma is a benign tumor. Um, so as a result, I got referred to Dr. Bessie. I had two appointments with Dr. Bessie where he completely explained what my options were and how the benign tumor in my spine could be related to my abdominal pains. Um, so he gave me the tough choice to um, either go through surgery and have the tumor removed or to leave it at the risk of the tumor growing which then could cause long-term uh, complications and could lead to a partial paralysis. So I had the surgery on December the 6th and um, I woke up about three and a half hours after I went into the, uh, into the, what they call the, the theater, the surgery theater. Dr. Bessie again, he came to my, uh, to my bed in the, in the recovery room um, and he kind of reassured me that it was a very succe successful surgery. So within 24 hours, I actually was encouraged to get out of bed and um, with help. <laughs> it, it wasn't something that I could do completely independently, but I could stand on my feet and, and, and take some steps. Now, to make a long story short, I only was in hospital for three days and then I was sent home. Um, and then the recovery started and then everything went kind of back to normal. So just before Christmas, I saw Dr. Bessie again who uh, reassured me that it was a very successful surgery. I'm really thankful to Dr. Bessie uh, that the surgery went so well and that he gave me this, well, uh, this, this good advice. All in all, um, it's quite something that you can't really prepare for. Um, Dr. Bessie has been absolutely fabulous in, in terms of reassuring me and my partner that this was the only uh, logical choice to make and he uh, left up to his, uh, to his promise that everything would be okay, so I'm very thankful. Mm -hmm.